Hey, what's up guys? This is Michael and I want to show you guys a dashboard that I built for Amazon FBA reporting. So it's a really cool dashboard. Um, what it does is it breaks down your data by week. So you're going to go into your seller central and download the two reports uh, once a week and then just uh, paste it into this report. So I'm going to walk through you guys. Um, I'm going to walk through how the dashboard works. Um, just kind of show you the features and then I'm going to make a couple separate videos to show you guys how to actually use the dashboard and download the reports and things like that. So this is the main uh, dashboard. It's in the weekly dashboard tab. And um, so on the top left, you'll see there's a start week, end week selection. So what you can do here is you can use this drop down menu and then select the weeks of data that you have, right? And you can select any date range that you want. And if, or you can delete it and then it'll just show the, the latest 12 weeks. So right now what we have is December 30th through March 17th, which is uh, 12 weeks of data. So, um, uh, in this, uh, there's a little scoreboard section, and that's the first thing you'll see. And what this is, is this is a total of all, however many weeks you have selected, this is the total numbers of all of this added up. So through these uh, 12 separate weeks, this is, uh, there's $24,000 in sales, $2,500 in profit, 10% uh, margin overall. Uh, the total units sold is six fifty seven. The total cost is $21,000. Uh, this shows you the organic sales, your PPC spend, your PPC sales, and then your ACOS. Um, and then there's also, so this is the current period, which is the current period selected. And then there's a section down here that says previous period. And what this does is it compares it to however many weeks you have selected. So right now we have 12 weeks showing. Um, this shows it in comparison to the 12 weeks prior. So um, for the 12 weeks prior, um, our sales are down 13%. Profits down 61%, the margins down 55%, and etc. And this is because um, the 12 weeks prior for me, it, it was Q4, which is the busiest for us. So obviously, we're down in sales from there. Okay, so the next section is a is the table, right? So it has all of your main metrics. It's going to show your units sold, your total sales, your PPC spend, PVC sales, organic sales, profit, and profit margin. And then... Um, and then in each column is going to be each week. So this is from December 30th to January 5th. This is from January 6th until January 12th. And then every um, all of these dates are Sundays because Amazon does reporting from a Sunday through Saturday. So uh, this is for each full week of data. Um, and you can see here that I've added a color scale to it. What this does is it shows you, uh, so you can easily look at it and see which numbers are, are, the, are the highest and the lowest. So it's going to go from darkest red is going to be the lowest to the highest to the darkest green is going to be the highest number. So I can look at it uh, pretty quickly and see, OK, you know, like March 17 had my basically my highest weeks. It's the darkest. And then January 27th is probably one of my lowest ones. Right. So, um, yeah, it's like this for all the metrics except for let's see. Yeah. So it's like this for all the metrics. And then over here in the left section, there's a little mini spark line graph. Uh, what this is, is it's like a mini in-cell chart of, of what's going on. So this shows the the trend. So you can quickly look at it and see the trend of, of the row you're looking at, right? So I can see that my units sold is trending up. My PPC sales went up and then it, it, it's kind of coming down a bit. So I can kind of quickly look at it. But what's cool is you can actually select this drop down menu and then you'll see two other options. There's average which is going to give you the average of however many however many weeks you have. So I can see that my average per week is 55 units. My average sales is 2000. My PPC spend is $36 um, and so forth. Right. And my average profit margin, et cetera. It's a pretty low margin there. Um, then there's a third selection, which is called percentage change. This is probably my favorite selection to have it on. Uh, and what this is going to do is it's going to compare the, the latest to weeks you have so this is only comparing march 10th to march 17th and then uh, depending on what you select it's gonna it's gonna compare the last two weeks right so what it shows you is it shows you how much you've increased or decreased for that particular metric so in this case my units sold uh, went up 60 percent 59 percent total sales went up 28 percent ppc spend went up 22 went up 122 percent my ppc sales went down 33 percent organic sales went up um, profit and profit margin went down and then it's going to be green if it went up and then red if it went down and this is like a, a really good way to just quickly look at it and see how you're doing this week compared to last week 
um, and just kind of like quickly see uh, what's working, what's not working. Like for me in this case, I saw that my PPC spend went up, but then my sales went down. So I have to check out what went wrong there. Things like that. Um, the next section is going to be the, the first two charts are going to be the organic versus PPC sales charts. So the chart to your left is going to show all the data combined. So it's going to show all 12 weeks combined. And I can see here that 86% of my sales came from organic sales, which is 21,000. And then 3,200 came from PPC sales, which is 13%. And then this chart to the right is going to show the same, the same metric, but it's going to split it out by week. So I can see here that, you know, steadily I've, I've had, so here I've, I got 3,500 in organic sales, 250 in PPC sales. The next week I had 780 in PPC sales and then 2,600 in organic sales and so forth. And I can see basically visually out of my total sales, how much of it was organic, how much of it was PPC. So that's something pretty useful to, to know. Uh, the next thing is just, it's like a basic uh, sales versus profit. So I can see just over every week how it's doing. So I can see here that um, my sales overall is going up, but then my profit is going down. So it's kind of good to just know overall how your business is doing. And in my particular case, it's because we ran out of stock on a high margin product and then we're selling um, a bunch of low margin products right now. Uh, if you scroll down, this is gonna be the PPC metric section. Uh, so this has all of your important PPC uh, metrics kind of rolled up. So it's similar to above. This is kind of the scoreboard. It's going to show an aggregated amount for all 12 weeks combined. So I can look at it quickly and see my PPC sales are 3,300, my, my units, um, my spend, my A cost, my return on ad spend, the total number of pressions, the clicks, click-through rate, and conversion rate. And these are a lot of numbers that people don't really even know. So it's kind of useful to just have this pool automatically each week so you can kind of look at it. And the more you look at it every week, you're just going to, it's going to just, you're going to know what the average, you know, what your average conversion rate is, uh, things like that. So you can know what to measure against, right? And then same as earlier, uh, it's going to compare to the previous 12 weeks. It's going to show um, red if it went up, green if it went down. Um, in the ACOS case, if it goes down, it's going to be um, it's going to be green because if it goes down, your ACOS goes down. That's obviously a good thing. Um, and then over here we have all the main PPC metrics like spend, impression, clicks, click through rate, cost per click, conversion rate, PPC units, PPC sales, and then your ACOS. So I can look at this pretty quickly and see how overall how my campaigns are doing week over week and how it's trending. Um, and then there's going to be a similar a similar thing here so I can select average percentage or spark line depending on what view I want. So I can look at this pretty quickly and see that you know my cost per click was really good here at 28 cents. Um, you know my A cost was super low here and then I can see that it's steadily increasing for March 17th, right? Uh, so these are kind of good things to know. And the next chart is going to be a really cool chart. It's a dynamic chart for you to kind of look at your metrics in different ways depending on what you want to what what metrics you want to focus on so right now i have uh, for metric one impressions and cost per click so the impressions is going to be in blue and i can see how my impressions relates to my cost per click right so i got more impressions but then my cost per click has went up to about a dollar fifty cents um, i can see here that my cost per click on average is uh, wait for it to load it's about 69 cents. Um, and then if you want to, it's really cool. You can change the metric you want to look at. So I can select any of these metrics, right? I can say, okay, so let's say I want to see my, my a cost as the bars and I want to see, um, my PPC sales, right? So I can see how my sales, so wait for it to load. So now I can see how my sales trend against my, my ACOS. So my ACOS is obviously really high here and my sales kind of dropped. Um, you can do it for anything. I can do my click through rate versus my PPC sales. So this is an interesting way to kind of look at how, how things trending and what metrics, um, relate to each other. So you can kind of focus, so you can figure out what to focus on. If it's your click through rate is, um, is high, but you're not getting sales. Maybe your page isn't converting. If you're not even getting impressions, maybe you need to up your bids or, or, or change your picture or something like that. So you can just decide what metrics you want to choose here. Um, the next section is going to be your cost metrics. 
So this is all of your cost of goods, your cost of shipping, FBA fees, referral fees, PPC costs, and total costs. Um, now these costs are going to be be put in. Um, they're put in manually. I'm going to show. I'm going to make a video to show you guys how it's done. But quickly, I'll just show you uh, how this is is created. So this is kind of the product dictionary where you put in your SKUs and your ASIN, and this is how it it, it pulls from the downloaded reports on Amazon uh, what the costs are. So you're going to type in your FBA fee and then you're going to type in the percentage referral fee for that product. And then I used to have the cost of goods and the cost of shipping here where you just type it in one time. But actually that wasn't as accurate because you you because sometimes you'll get like your first order your your cost of goods might be one might might be one thing but then your next order if you order order a bigger amount or a smaller amount your cost of goods are going to change, right? So I fixed that issue by um, adding a cost by date. So what you'll do is you'll you'll um, select the start date for that particular cost, and then you'll select your product from a drop-down menu, and it's automatically going to show up once you add it to your product dictionary. And then you can enter in your cost of goods and your cost of shipping by date. So in this particular case, so I had uh, product one. So product one went until December fifth, right? So any sale that was made between October 1st and December 5th is going to, for product one, is going to be um, $7.15 cost of goods and then two eighty cost of shipping. And then any any sale for product one made after December 6th, 2018 is going to get a $7.05 cost of goods. So it makes this reporting a little bit more accurate, which is good. So yeah, so that's how these costs are kind of calculated. Um, and then you'll see here, so this is the same thing. The chart on the left is a roll up of all of all 12 weeks. And then I can see here that my cost of goods was 41% of the of total cost. My cost of shipping was 15%, FBA fees of 22%, referral fee, and then a very small PPC cost. And then this is gonna be um, your profit versus cost a week by week. So I can see here how much of my total sales was profit and how much of it or, or gross margin um, and then how much of it was uh, was was cost of goods right so that's kind of a cool visual way to look at your data and then same thing here I can look at totals percentage average spark line if you scroll down you're gonna see your product metrics now now this one is pretty useful for me to just quickly look at it and then see which of my product is bringing in um, the most pro, uh, the most sales and you can look at the numbers, but when you look at it visually it really changes your perspective on it, right? So here you select your metric. I have uh, total sales selected right now And then this is going to break out all of your products. So right now I only have four products and only three of them are in stock So I can see here week over week um, Which of which of my products is bringing in how many sales, right? And it's the same thing with the color scale in each row the darkest green is going to be the highest number, and then the darkest red, uh, red is the lowest number. So, um, again, this is all rolled up. This chart on the left is rolled up for all 12 weeks, and I can see here that product number three brought in 73% of the sales, or about 18,000, and then product one was second at 20, 23% with 5,600, and then product three is product four is like barely doing anything at all. Um, and then this is going to break it out week by week. So I can see here, this is when I launched product number three and it, it's been killing it. Um, and then product one is kind of increasing. I'm kind of, I kind of lowered the price a bit to kind of get it ranking again. And then product four is kind of like a dud launch. That's not going so well, but it's cool. Cause I can uh, go here and select the metric. So I can see, um, if I want to look at, you know, PPC clicks, for example, um, I can see which product is getting the most clicks, right? Or I can go to profit. Uh, profit. And then I can see which product is actually bringing in the most profit for me. So I'm actually, I can see here that I'm actually losing money on product four, losing about $100 a week on it, which is cool. Uh, I can see my PPC spend for each product. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I can see how much I'm spending. So I'm not really spending much on PPC. So I'm gonna ramp that up soon. Uh, yeah, so this is this is a this, so this is the kind of the main overview uh, part of the dashboard, right? And it's pretty useful for me. Um, you can back it out as many weeks as as you want. Like if you, you can literally do, um, I can literally go from you know December third, and then it's gonna update here. 
it's not going to look as good because of all these numbers but if you know a little bit about charts you can just kind of go in and like double click here and then you can go to series and then just remove data labels so I can see it nice and clean right uh, so this is kind of a good way for me to figure things out so um, yeah, so I'll show you guys a few like findings that I made on the next tab. So this is a super useful. I'm gonna delete this and it's gonna show the last 12 weeks automatically. So normally I just leave it here unless I wanna do like an actual deep dive, but I'll, I'll normally update this data every Monday and then just kind of look at it, um, look at it then. So if you go down here to the product breakdown tab, so this is where you can deep dive into one particular product, right? Um, and uh, it's grouped by parent, so you look at it by, by the parent ASIN and it kind of shows everything grouped into one. So I can click in this drop down menu and select whichever product I want to look at. So now it's going to be pretty similar to the first dashboard, except that it's going to be for one product only. So I can see here for product one, you know, um, my total sales, profit, profit margin, um, all the same metrics, and then I'm comparing it to the previous. Um, previous period and of course the previous period was was the 12 weeks of um, October November December so obviously my sales have come down a lot which is unfortunate but you know um, so here I can see the percentage of organic versus PPC sales for this one product I can see the organic versus PPC sales by week I can scroll down and kind of see the profit versus total sales I can see here that I'm doing you know I did 260 and profit on this product last week which is a lot higher and it's because I increased a lot of PPC spend um, I can see my PPC metrics oh yeah so I can I, I like to look at percentage change over the last week just so I can see how it's doing over the last week uh, so yeah so my spend went up a thousand percent I just I had no bids coming so yeah so for example for this product right I was trying to figure out why why I wasn't making any sales when in March of last year I was doing pretty decent. So if I go to 311, March 11, 2018, all the way until March 17th, uh, let me unhide these columns. So it's gonna break it out. Uh, let me go to series and then remove data labels. So I'll show you guys how to do this in separate videos. But so I was wondering how come last March, you know, I was getting I was getting decent amount of sales. It was, looks like here it's, you know, near 1500, 2000. And then here I was getting I wasn't getting anything. I was getting like literally like 200 a week. And then I had basically just not turned on my PPC. And I realized, like, oh, crap, like I, I need to turn on my PPC, because if you can see here that like almost half of my my almost all of my sales at some point were all, almost all PPC. So. This is a product, unfortunately, that I need to run. I always need to run paper click on, but you know that's how it goes. Um, so here, it's just like a sales versus profit per usual. So I can kind of see seasonality bump. So I get a small bump during spring, and then it's kind of slow, and then it gets a, a nice big bump um, during November, December, and then it comes back down and hopefully it's gonna start bumping up again around here. So it's a good way to kind of see seasonality if you have like, you know, for me, I have a year and a half worth of data for this product, which is super helpful. Um, so if you scroll down, now you can see my PPC metrics. Um, this is showing for, uh, this is, I don't know how many weeks, this must be like 50 weeks. So let's just erase this so I can only see 12 weeks of data. So I can see how my PPC sales, PPC units, uh, PPC spend, my ACOS, my ROAS, impressions, click, click through rate, and conversion rate. So it's nice to know just kind of what my conversion rates is, my click through rates, my ACOS is on this product. Just kind of know at a glance to know what my baseline is. And same thing here, I can look at it quickly and see, okay, you know, these are obviously down months. There's tons of red and it's picking up here, which is good. Um, yeah, so these are all good things to know. Um, go to percentage change. They should all be green. All right, cool. And then here we have another dynam dynamic chart. So the same thing as, as earlier. So I can see the impressions versus click through rate, or I can select this. And um, I added in a couple things for a product like average sale price, right? So I can. So this is basically just total revenue divided by units sold because sometimes I'll change my, my sale price. So let me make my sale price this one and then I'll change this to my click-through rate. 
So I can see how, uh, wait for it to load. So I can see how my average sale price might affect my click through rate. Um, so it's pretty high here. Um, at an average sale price of $21. So you can kind of just see how your sale price might affect things. Um, maybe look at impressions. What oh, impressions shouldn't matter? Um, maybe clicks. I can look at clicks. Yeah, so just you can kind of play around with this and see what metrics matter matter to you the most. So that's a super useful chart. Uh, the next thing is my page metrics, which is super cool. Uh, this comes directly from Amazon's business reports. So I can see my buy box percentage for this item, and you should always be pretty much 99 to 100%. So this is a good way to tell if you have hijackers on your listing. So like maybe here, I'm not sure what happened here, but maybe someone bought my product and was selling them um, on my listing that week. Uh, but overall, this is good. I can see my average sale price. I can see the number of sessions, so this is nice. I can see the number of sessions is basically the number of unique visitors that come to your listing. So, um, yeah, this is really helpful. So I can see that it's, you know, it decreased here, it bumped up here. Um, and then now it's, it's at an all time high for these 12 weeks here. I can see the number of page views, right? And then I can see my unit session percentage, which is basically, basically your conversion rate on that listing. And yeah, so it's really nice to know that it's going up. Uh, I can kind of deep dive into kind of figure out more. And then same thing with this chart. So this this has more of your your page metrics, right? So I can see how my unit process um, session, my conversion rate essentially, compares to my total sales. So obviously, if my session percentage goes up, my sales goes up. Um, I can compare it to like my profit. Um, my profit's probably pretty crap on this product right now. Yeah, it's, I mean it's not terrible, but it could be a lot better. So about two hundred dollars in profit a week. Right, yeah, so you can play around with this too. Next thing is my cost metrics. Um, so I can see my cost breakdown for this product and then my profit versus cost by week. Yeah, so this is basically the dashboard. I can um, select different products as well. So product number, let's see, my product number three, I think is my best product so far that just launched. So I can kind of see here um, you know, over these, this product's only been live for like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. And it's made me, you know, $3,000 in profit. Um, I can see it's mostly organic sales. I can see, you know, the number of PPC sales compared to organic each week. I can see my PPC metrics. This has an 8% ACoS, which is amazing. Uh, my return on ad spend is amazing here. Click through rate, conversion rates, 12%. It looks like 12% is pretty standard for my products it seems like um yeah so this is pretty pretty cool it's a um, so a lot of people don't really even know a lot of these numbers you know like because you can go into seller central and look at it but there's only so much numbers can do it's really helpful to have different charts and, and different colors just kind of help the human eye just kind of um, make quick snap analysis by looking at it so yeah it's a really easy report all it takes is two reports each week so you just go tier um, you know, you select the date range, you download it, and then you paste it here, and then you just add the, the week, um, the Sunday of this, of the, of that week. So, um, I made two videos to show you guys step-by-step step exactly how to go in and download the reports and paste in the reports. So this is the sales business reports. And then the second report is the PPC advertised product report. All right. This is obviously all fake data. And then, um, to set it up, you just have to fill this out, which is like super easy. You just have to grab your parent ASIN, SKU, parent SKU, child ASIN, child SKU, give your product a nickname, and then type in the fees um, for that product. And then just, yeah, every week it takes like a few minutes. And um, I look forward to my Mondays a lot just to kind of see this report and see how my numbers are adding up. So I'm going to um, give one version of this of this. Uh, template for free which is basically this first dashboard which is the weekly dashboard and then the second one will be kind of like a paid product if you guys like it but that way you guys can actually just uh, get it for free and then just see if you guys actually like the process of it um, and kind of start the process of, of downloading the reports and things like that and then if you like it then you can kind of get the more in-depth product breakdown version if you guys want um, cool guys let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions um, yeah looking forward to it thanks